Today I'm going to talk to you about the Snapmaker Artisan that is going to be released in August. This machine is amazing. This turns your desktop into a complete workshop. Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about the Snapmaker Artisan. This is an amazing machine that is coming out in August. Uh, absolutely incredible machine that has, it's a three-in-one machine that is made well and tough. This machine is so well made, it's got linear modules. These linear modules provide an accurate and good base for the printer to work with. So that when you're cutting with the CNC machine, it is strong enough to move properly. And then secondly, when you're cutting, with you're using your laser cutter or your 3D printer, it is accurate enough to give you that, that fine detail of movement without any compromise and still remaining strong. The Snapmaker also comes with a very easy modular system that it just snaps into place really quick and easy. You lift a lever, pull your, your modules out, put the new module in and also with the base as well. You put your new module in, you plug the cable in, the correct cable, and then you exchange your base. The base is exchanged so that you, when you do your laser cutting, it has the right, ba ba right base for it. When you do your 3D printing, you've got the right kind of material and then for your wood, for your, uh, your CNC cutting. It's a very cleverly designed, well thought out machine that really is an impress. I really can't wait to get my hands on one of, the, one of these. Um, I'm busy talking to Snapback about getting my hands on one of these as soon as possible so I can bring you a complete review. It was also included with a 10 watt laser. Now this is clever stuff. You know how they do a 10 watt later laser is that most laser diodes have a maximum wattage of about 6 watts. So what they do is they use a clever mirror system inside that adds and multiplies the beam to have your double uh, strength of about 12 watts which will reduce down to 10 watts with losses in the lenses and all that kind of thing. But 10 watts of cutting power is enough to cut through some pretty decent thickness of, of uh, some plastics, melamines, that kind of thing, small woods, and then marking anything. You can mark any leathers, you can mark glass, all that kind of stuff. Obviously the glass you need to use a special adhesive, but all of that is possible with this machine. One machine doing all of this. It's also got a 200 watt CNC module and it's really nice to have something that you can absolutely sculpt into wood and go, go with layers, all that kind of thing, which is slightly different to a laser. A laser does a direct cut. This will allow you to do contours and all sorts of fancy designs with your CNC machine. Uh, I would love to have, I built a CNC machine a couple of years ago and you know, I've never quite got it to work the way I want to. Still a project that is sitting on a shelf there that needs to be completed. Love to complete that one. But this here is a CNC machine built in, ready to go. It's also a 3D printer, which is absolutely great to have a decent quality. Now this is a high quality uh, 3D printer. As you can see there, you can swap the nozzles out and the whole uh, heat link. You can swap that out really easily. The whole uh, hot end section with the, with everything taken out, pop a new one in there with a different um, uh, dimension on your uh, on your on your nozzle. Uh, different materials. You can uh, print multiple materials. That is the exciting thing. Is you can print a dissolvable type of material. So you print all your supports in dissolvable material, and then you print the rest of the print with your, your PLA or whatever, you dunk it in some water and it will dissolve away and you have a moving part. So you can print everything in place. And as this picture shows here, it shows a claw. Let me get my face out the way. It shows a claw that has been 3D printed and then you dissolve away the supports to give you a nice structure and nice clean build and in a single print, you can have your, your claw ready to go. It's also got a decent build size. Your build size is 400 by 400 by 400. That is mostly for the 3D printing side, but your laser and your cutter will get very close to those dimensions. It's a decent size build where you can build pretty much anything that you need to do in a single print. You don't have to split your prints into multiple parts. And um, I'm currently running a 220 mil and a 300. And sometimes to have a little bit of a bigger build plate is really a nice option. Uh, a lot of thought has gone into this printer and how it is put together. Even if you look at this picture, you can see that it's got that glass 
that will protect you from the laser light. So, you know, even that, your laser light, laser cutting is a dangerous, dangerous hobby. You've got to know what you're doing. You've got to be careful with stray beams. You've got to have eye protection on at all time. With this uh, case that they've created here, it will block out most of that harmful laser light and it will make it a lot safer or make it safe for you to use laser cutting in your room, in your office, wherever you are. Um, I'm truly excited about this machine. I really believe that this is this could be quite an innovation. The 3D printing side is gorgeous where you can just swap out those two nozzles. They're independent extruders. I've seen a lot of 3D printers where you can print two materials, but it goes through the same nozzle. So they have to be the same material, maybe two different colors. You need a purge block. You won't need a purge block with this because you've got two nozzles, two independent extruders, two independent materials so you can print with multi-material and to me that is absolutely awesome it's also got a control box on the side that is a separate unit that's air cooled and it's got a nice uh, big touch screen on there that you can uh, use to control the machine and i want so badly to get my hands on one of these machines i'm talking to snapback and we'll see what happens Guys, I hope you like this video, short and sweet. Unfortunately, I don't have the product in my hand. It is being launched in August uh, for around $2,800 in that mark. And um, it is a high quality machine. Yes, it's a high price, but it's a high quality machine. This is, this is a workshop on your desktop with everything that you need to do. All of your fancy designs, your smart designs, your prototyping, all that stuff in one machine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I'll see you soon. Stay well, stay safe. God bless.